Hello guys, welcome to a new game on my channel called Dorm Itabis. Probably pronounced that wrong, I'm not good at pronouncing things. So yeah, let's get started. I've already done the first night, so this is just the second night. So let's press continue. And second night. Yeah, so now I'm a bit late to the game, like every game, I'm very late. Basically, I skipped uh, night right, one because back. night one only uh, includes one I'm trying to. Night two is going to be a short trip. Here. Phone call. So I hope you've come prepared. Uh, let's see. Uh, where I left off. The reason these spirits want to kill you, and, and this is just a guess on my side, uh, it's because they need what's inside of you. And by this, I mean uh, the plasma your ghostly body is made of. You see, my theory on why these ghosts turn to animatronics is that someone or something made an attempt of manifesting them to physical bodies out of thin air. It sounds impossible, right? Yeah, that's the thing. Whoever made the attempt failed, most likely horribly. That's why all these characters look so weird and broken. So in order to fix themselves, they possibly need a way bigger plasma source. And I think that's where you come in. You're an unarmed adult ghost, which makes you a potential meal for them. They don't see us as humans, John. They only see us as a chance for survival. Can we really blame them for it? Why, why am I asking you questions? I'm leaving a message, not actually talking to you. David, Peter, get yourself together. Uh, well, moving on, I think only one character is going to become active tonight, and that is the bear character I cannot identify. I, I have no idea what exactly he is, but it appears that his manifestation was somewhat fruitful. He, he seems to be glitching in and out of existence, which is why I dubbed him Am I Real? Clever, right? Yeah, not really, yeah. <laughs> you really need to keep an eye on that guy, though, or else you're going to run into massive problems. If he's fixed and clean, you're absolutely fine. If he's broken, on the other hand, wash him for a few seconds, he should turn back to normal. If you don't keep him normal, he's going to really hurt you. Now, remember that plan I mentioned? Yeah, you do. This plan is a, it's still a work in progress, and I don't have everything ready yet. However, I'm pretty sure that there's more audio tapes like the one you hopefully picked up from the reporter yesterday, and they are going to appear in a different camera every night. If you see it, click on it with that mouse on the old computer in your room, and you'll probably obtain it. Now, I'm leaving it up to you. Don't waste too much time listening to this, he might already be active. So yeah, um, oh ace. Always broken after watching. Basically, uh, he goes inside the camera and tells you which camera he is at. So you go to that camera. See nine. And he's broken again. Let's just fix him. And I think that bear character, um, the one that comes to your office, Havoc Freddy, there we go, back to normal, is going to appear in your office, well, he's going to appear at the door, you have to run over to the other side. Oh, I wasn't expecting that. Well, he's already fixed, but Chica, Havoc Chica, why is she here? Shouldn't be her, should be, um, just Havoc Freddy, and... Him. I'm a little bit surprised though. Alright. This lasts until 7 a.m. There we go. Oh she has gone. Oh dear. I don't feel safe at all. I don't like that. Let's see. Um, yeah, have a cheek has gone missing. I can't find her anywhere. Mm -hmm. 
she's there. There we go, I think she's gone now. Let's have a tackle her. We're attempting night one, night two, and night three. <coughs> Whoa. He's just still at one, yeah, he hasn't moved in quite a while. But Peter Bay will move soon now. Could have just said that. Nothing seems to be happening. It's almost 6 a.m. But we gotta wait until 7 because it's not like the original FNAF series. But yeah, by the way, this is a, a fan made FNAF game. I quite like these fan, ga fan made FNAF games because people come up with their own backstory for it. And they do it. But this is, um,. Red Bear's Family Diner 3, where is it? There it is. Oh my god, what the hell? Let's just wait for him to fix. There we go. Haven't really seen any of the others yet, because they're all there. Now it's one more hour to push through, and then we did it. There we go, it's fixed. And yep, finally someone's moving. Where is it? Oh. Oh, there, there, that's a bit. Oh, Jesus. I think we have to do this. Oh. Yeah, with it, yeah, we did it, we did it. Hey. That wasn't very difficult. It's just the first time I had one animatronic and he was just doing nothing, so. Be pretty boring. So let's just attempt. Next one. Night three. If it goes well, I'll do night four as well. Okay, I'm back again, and I'm gonna hurry this time, mostly because they're probably pretty yeah, active right now. As well. now there's this big mess oh, of parts and stuff well. that has appeared so. only after you first arrived. It appears to have lamps in it, and for some reason, it's full of sharp teeth. It looks like something straight out of a goddamn horror attraction, to be honest. Uh, anyway, once it's assembled all of the parts, it is going to appear on your ceiling. I think yeah, the best way to just keep it away is to look at it when it's up there, so make sure to do that. It dislikes being watched. Uh, oh yeah, remember the plasma source yeah. issue? Uh, the old oh. plasma source that was used to create these messed up ghosts is, uh, it's still around here. If it's there, play dead. Instantly. Look at the ceiling and do absolutely nothing until you hear it walk away. That's pretty much the only way to keep it out. It, uh, it doesn't like other ghosts. I've seen it attack the others multiple times, actually. It's pretty interesting. It appears to want back what's theirs. Uh, well, I'm gonna leave you to it, uh, and don't forget about collecting the tapes. So personally, I really like this game because it includes like uh, animatronics all broken, and basically the backstory behind this is you dead, and this is like the the dream. Like technically, like, you, I'm not really sure, but I mean, he's haunted animatronics and everything. So, 
So I'm just really concentrating on his back. There we go, one. Pick you up. There we go. Let's go back to cam eight. Fitness, seven, six. I wonder where the thing's gonna appear. Hello there. So basically, yeah, uh, uh, this is just inside your brain, and this place is basically what your brain made it, so yeah. So your brain is a dead person, technically. These are the plasma off you, so you better keep them out or they kill you. It explains this all in the first night, but kind of, I didn't, I had to sk I skipped past it. Because it was just boring, it was just a long phone call with only one animatronic. It's always Havoc Freddy here. Oh, he's gone. He's gone. He's run. Oh, he's done a runner. Well, he's disappeared, bro. Where did he go? Strange. <laughs> These are actually scared me as well. Jesus. Hello there. There we go, he's gone. Let's get back to our seat. Yeah, we're doing it. Yeah, it's very active tonight. He said nine, he's not even there. Oh, because they are there. Oh, yeah. Wait, he said nine, but he's appearing at one. That's confusing. Alright, see, so yeah, I definitely ended after this one. There's about ten nights in this game, apparently. About. Almost, oh no, we've still got that. Six. See? Yeah, he hasn't broken yet. Oh, it's them again.
So yeah. It's that nine, isn't it? It is fixed anyway, it doesn't really matter. But did I do it? Did I do it? I'm not sure. But yes. Thought I died. Jesus Christ, it scared me. Alright, um Thanks for watching my video. Uh hope you enjoy it and like and subscribe if you already haven't. If you see more content like this, please press that like button and see you later.